Hello everybody, it's Brian for MBAusers.com and today I'll be showing you how to install Windows 7 or Windows 8 from a USB flash drive over to your Mac. For this video I'll be using Windows 8 from a Kingston HyperX USB 3.0 flash drive, 64 gigs in capacity. Now to do this of course you will need your USB flash drive at least 8 gigs in size or larger and of course you will need your operating system in the form of an ISO file. First, you'll go ahead and need to open up the Boot Camp Assistance application. If you're using Launchpad, you could go ahead and go to the other folder and get to it. If you're just over at your Applications folder, it will be under Utilities. Now, if you'd like, you could go ahead and print out the instructions, so you could follow those if you would like, or you could just follow the rest of this video. On this screen, you'll be able to choose which tasks you would like to take care of. It'll go ahead and create your USB flash drive from the ISO file. It will go ahead and download all the latest drivers and applications for your copy of Windows, and it will go ahead and partition your drive and install Windows directly. So the first step is to go ahead and create our USB flash drive. Now my ISO file is already on my desktop and Boot Camp Assistant already detected that. And then you'll have to go and choose your destination removable drive. So in this case, again, it is the 64 gig Kingston HyperX Data Traveler 3.0 drive. Once that is selected, you'll go ahead and click on continue. Now keep in mind that anything on your flash drive will automatically be erased for this process. So make sure you back everything up beforehand. Once the format is complete, it will go ahead and extract the files from your ISO file over to your USB drive. And this process will take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes depending on the speed of your drive. And then it will go ahead and download all of the necessary drivers and software for once you install Windows so that all of your hardware on your Mac will work properly within Windows. Now depending on the speed of your internet connection, this may or may not take a while because as you'll see in a couple of seconds, it's going to be downloading quite a lot of data. So. Right here, I'm showing you what the downloaded folder looks like. So it's called Windows Support. That will automatically be copied to your flash drive. And if we go to Get Info, you can see that it downloaded 1.05 gigs of stuff. So again, depending on the speed of your internet connection, this may or may not take a while to actually complete this process. But once it's actually finished downloading everything, it will then go ahead and uh, copy everything it's downloaded over to your Mac. And then after that, it will go ahead and go through the partitioning process. So you can see here that we have two partitions. We have, of course, the OS 10 partition, and we have the one that it's going to create. So you could use the little slider in between the two to go ahead and adjust the sizes of your partitions. It'll go ahead and tell you how much you have available for you on your OS 10 partition. And now it will go ahead and create that partition for you and your Mac will automatically restart from your USB drive. So make sure that before you actually do any of this that you don't have any opened applications. Now if it doesn't boot from your USB drive, go ahead and old, hold the uh, Alt slash Option key on your keyboard to go ahead and manually choose that drive to boot from. And it will go ahead and boot from it like it would on a regular Windows PC. So again, this is Windows 8, so what you're seeing here is basically all of the uh, Windows 8 steps for installing it onto your Mac. But for Windows 7, it's pretty much exactly the same thing. Now here, we're formatting the new partition. Make sure you choose the right one, because if you choose the wrong one, then you'll probably end up with an unbootable system. So make sure you actually format the Boot Camp labeled partition. Once it goes through the initial file copy, it'll go ahead and reboot. Now, as you can see, obviously, these things are being sped up just to save some time. Here we are booting the uh, Windows 8 partition this time instead of the flash drive because all of the setup files have already been transferred over to that actual partition on the MacBook Air's internal SSD. And that's pretty much it from 
here on out, it's pretty much your standard Windows 8 installation procedure. Just have to enter in your key, choose some of your personalization options, connect to Wi-Fi if you'd like. Now, depending on your Mac, Wi-Fi may or may not work out of the box, but that is why the Boot Camp Assistant app went ahead and downloaded all of the drivers and software for you. So once we actually get here, I will show you how to install those files and drivers. So you can see here Windows 8 is still getting set up and it just finished. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the desktop. You can see that it works just fine. So Windows 8 is pretty much installed. We're not quite ready because as I said, we do need to install the actual boot camp drivers and software. So to do that, go ahead and hit the command key plus E to bring up the my computer window. From there, go to your flash drive, go into the Windows support folder, then double click on the setup application. Go to yes at the security window. And from here, you can just install all of the necessary drivers and software. And after you do that, your Mac will go ahead and reboot automatically. And now all of the, all of the hardware on your Mac will work just like it's supposed to. That's it with the video. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, you can feel, uh, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon.